Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name's Carly, and today I'm going to film a what's on my Flip 5 Galaxy Samsung phone. As a few of you have requested this since I did one on my older phone, which I'll link here if you want to watch it at all. But now I've got this new phone at Christmas, I thought I would do an updated version of it in case any of you were interested. So, first of all, I'll let you know about the case and the wallpaper because I think this is really cute, and I just thought if any of you are interested, you might be thinking, Where's these? Where are these from? This little phone charm is really cute and I got this from a place called Timu. I got this really cute case as well from Timu which has got little flowers on. Really love the case. I've actually chosen one of these wallpapers which is like a beach theme and the waves actually move as well which is really cool and if I open up the actual main page it just goes onto the beach there as the background. And then if you close it, I love that it shows the beach there as well and the waves and again they're moving. And I basically just downloaded that and I bought it for a couple of dollars but I bought it from the themes on my phone. It makes me happy having a beach background. And by the way, I've got the mint green phone case. So when you open up the phone on the first screen, I've got the time at the top here and if you hold it here, you can actually change the settings by clicking there. You can have it as white. You can't really see the time, so that's why I've decided to have it as uh, black. You can actually choose the opacity as well here. I've also just got these two apps at the front. Well, these are widgets, so if you hold down the, on the background, you can actually add widgets from down here. So you can actually click that, and then you can add like different apps, ones that you use quite a lot, onto the front page. So that's what I've just done for that. I've just got Shazam, because I always like capturing songs that I hear. I just need that if I need to get a song really quickly and then I've just got the weather app because I'm always looking at that like every day so I just thought I'd put it on the front page if I swipe up I've got a whole bunch of apps here I've actually made some albums not albums some folders should I say at the top here so I've kind of tried to keep it organized but I don't know I've just got a folder here for editing this is the editing app called Snapseed which I really love for editing my photos it's free as well. I never paid for this. So that's pretty good. As well as this one, again, I don't pay for this one. It's called Ucut. And this is where I edit little videos. Oh, actually, I don't even need this app. I'm going to delete that one. <laughs> I've got my gallery of photos here. I've got my camera, G Drive and Dropbox because they're where I sometimes upload photos and stuff. So I just put that all in editing. Next one I've got social, so basically all my social media stuff, messaging, Instagram, YouTube, Etsy, so all those kind of things like that. Next I've got finance, so obviously my banking app, where I transfer money, calculator as well, it's like to do with kind of numbers and stuff. <laughs> um, then I've got audio, so Spotify, something I always listen to, Shazam, Audible, listening to books, and Podbean, which is a podcast app. I haven't listened to any podcasts for ages now, that's just reminded me I need to listen to them again. I've also got a planning app here as well. So this is where I keep like, I've got my emails, my notes, because I'm always planning and adding to-do lists in there. This one I recently made, Sam it's called Samson. I just added like loads of apps that were just kind of cluttering up my phone. They were just all over the place, so I just dragged them all into here, because like I never use them. But these are like ones you can't actually delete. Um, and then I've just got a few extra ones which I wasn't sure where to put. So I've got <laughs> maps and I do go to maps quite often so I thought if I was just there it's easier to get to. Menu log because I do order from there sometimes. And then a couple of these I didn't really know where to put so they're kind of just random. That is pretty much all I have on my phone because I did have some apps if I swiped over but I recently organised it all onto one page. So all I have to do is swipe up and swipe down to go back to this page. And then if you swipe over, you've actually just got random news articles, which I never look at. So I'll quickly show you, in case you're interested in how I got this wallpaper, um, if I go to the Samsung, there was this app called Settings. So if you just go to Settings, then there's this bit called Themes, where you can look up different wallpapers. So there is a lot of cool different wallpapers. There's ones that like a still background and there's also some that have video or animated. Yeah, it's pretty cool and it shows all the color scheme that you would have throughout it if you bought it. So I've just scrolled through that for ages. I've tried a couple of others as well, but just lately I've just stuck with the beach one for a while because it makes me happy. So yeah. Also, if you wanted to edit your cover screen, this is where you can do that. Um, if you click on 
the actual screen. You can click on the time and you can choose like different fonts or the way that it's laid out, different colours and you can also move it around to where you feel like it looks best. So yeah, that's pretty cool and I'll show you my cover screen. So if I just open it up and I swipe across, this is an app called Good Look and this is where you can actually add different apps in. So I've added like my main ones that I feel like I would use but I haven't updated that for a while. Swiping along, I've just got my weather app, then I've got my alarms and a timer and then the calendar. That is pretty much it but to be honest I don't usually use the front screen as much. And then to the left is that's where notifications would pop up. If I have a text message it would show the text message here which is pretty cool. But yeah that's pretty much it for what's on my Galaxy Flip 5. Really love this phone, it's really cute and small and easy to fit in my pocket and I love it. So do you own this phone or is this like a phone you're like looking to get one day and I'm pretty disappointed because I'm not sure if you can see that little mark there on the screen but I just recently dropped a weight on the edge of my phone and luckily it didn't damage it or make it any worse but there is that little little glitch I guess that's there and I can really notice it so at least it's not too distracting I'm kind of starting to get used to it now but it's just a shame because I only got this phone at Christmas but anyway thank you so much for watching today's video I hope you enjoyed. Definitely subscribe and check out my other videos and I'll see you all next time. Bye!